Hi, this is Piotr Walczyszyn, I'm an Adobe Developer Evangelist. Uh, so this is my first uh, episode from the series where I'll cover how to build PhoneGap applications connected to Salesforce.com. Uh, so first of all, PhoneGap is a technology that allows us to build natively installed apps, uh, mobile apps, uh, using web standards, so HTML5, JavaScript, CSS, where Salesforce.com is a, a cloud-based uh, CRM system where you can track your accounts, opportunities, uh, customers, contacts, events, and so on. All right, so um, so to get you excited and see what will be uh, our main subject through the uh, whole course, uh, I'll, I'll show you an app that I created for Dreamforce, uh, so the Salesforce conference that was in 2012, I demonstrated over there, uh, and we'll build something simpler than that, but some sort of a prototype of this. All right, so um, the app is called Gapforce, and let me launch, uh, Airplay, so you can see the my device screen. All right, let's go back here. It should be running now. There we go. So I have it already installed, and as you can see, when it uh, first of all uh, starts the application, it logs in out at the user using OAuth, and uh, once it logs the logged in, it uh, lists all the opportunities that the user has in the Salesforce account. Uh, if I tap on one of those uh, opportunities, you will see uh, the details uh, of it, and you can tap to an uh, events uh, tab and see the detail of, of some events. And also you have a list of contacts assigned to that opportunity. And if I tap on one of the co those contacts, it actually can make a phone call. Uh, after the phone call is finished, it will pop up uh, um, a message if I want to create new Salesforce event. If so, it will actually create so. All right, so in our case, we'll make something simpler than that. We'll make an application that uh, lists the opportunities and allows us to tap on one of those and go into the details uh, view of it. And that would be, I think, good enough uh, for uh, get you up and running. All right, so before we go uh, into very details on fo of phone gap applications, uh, I want you to start uh, by cloning a project that I created on GitHub. So it will have um, all the uh, necessary libraries pre-configured for you. Uh, so if you go to GitHub and uh, Upboil, uh, that's a, sort of a, a GitHub organization where I gather all kinds of uh, boilerplate uh, projects which you can use uh, and in this case there is one upballforce.com and if you go in here you can see some details what it consists and it has required JS for nice modular um, uh, architecture with has a backbone for nice again architecture of views components sort of a MVC style uh, arc architecture. Backbone Force is a plugin that I created and published and as an open source uh, on GitHub uh, so it allows us to map backbone uh, frameworks and models and collections into objects in Salesforce. Um, it has, of course, jQuery for ease of use, jQuery Mobile, JQM Navigator. It's again one of my uh, open source initiatives. So it's a plugin for jQuery Mobile uh, that gives us some sort of a programmatic um, uh, access to view transitions and so on. Force DK, which comes uh, uh, with uh, Force DK that comes from Salesforce and Force DK UI, uh, again, my project uh, that has a, a UI uh, layer on top of Force DK. Okay, so now if we go ahead and clone that somewhere, and in my case, I'll create a new, a new project uh, in my projects folder here, and uh, let's call it GAP Force uh, Demo. And Gap Force demo uh, here we can actually start terminal. So let's try to uh, yeah, let's try here. Oops. Now if I go in here, I can switch to my Gap Force uh, demo uh, directory and git clone uh, the. Oh, I didn't copy it. So let's go here. That was the wrong path, clipboard, there we go. And uh, let's do like git clone, come on, git clone, there we go, copy the Apple force. And 
remember to put www folder so it will clone it actually to that folder. So it should take about a few seconds. All right, we got it. Now, uh, what we can do, we can actually open that uh, www folder um, and its content, of course, in any of your favorite HTML editor. In my case, that's actually PHP Storm. So what I'm going to do is open it here. Let's go here to my projects and under my projects, I should see my gap force demo. So actually I can open this one up. And here we go. Is there? And you can see that there is like index iOS and index Android, uh, each specific for for each platform. But uh, there is the whole structure and all the libraries are set and ready to go. So if I open now, let's say WebKit, which I prefer to use for my debugging of my applications because it's closest to what we have usually on devices. And the latest Safari, uh, well, it's Web Inspector really sucks in my opinion. So I prefer to use uh, WebKit, which has good old Web Inspector in place. And let's drag and drop it here. So it actually opens up a simple hello world and you can see it has nice jQuery mobile uh, top bar already a list pre-configured for us and on top of that in next episodes we'll start building but in the directly next episode for after that we'll package it into a phone gap app and launch it on my device so stay tuned and uh, and thanks and bye